So we didn't get the sorceress yesterday like I thought we would, but we actually got a lot more than that, so let's talk about it. Destination Mark. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and oh my god, the Spyro news just keeps on coming. Yes, yeah, so I got my thing out. Um, Comic Con is only a few days away, so with that being said, it's no surprise that we're getting a bunch of stuff right now. So um, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I would both be surprised and not be surprised if they drop the trailer at some point before Comic Con. But uh, we'll see how, how that goes in due time. Uh, we've got stuff to talk about uh, from Pez.tv. So on Twitter last night, they um, dropped all this stuff that Activision gave to them to show off. So it's pictures, footage. Renders, we'll talk about that right now. So let's start off real quick with uh, pictures. Um, I'm just gonna throw them all up. There they all are, all the pictures. Look at all those delicious pictures. Oh, my knees, ow, ow, ow. Okay, uh, <laughs> did you hear the pop? Oh God, anyway, so um, pictures, that those were, I'll have a couple of them. Actually, we'll, we'll play them right here as well. Uh, lovely pictures. So um, a lot of these pictures consist of Ice Cavern, Alpine Ridge, and Terrace Village. Um, and they, they look really cool. They look awesome. And uh, there's not much to say. Some of them we've like a small a few a few of them we've seen already. Uh, but there are some that are new, like um, a couple Terrace Village ones. I don't think we've seen a whole lot from Alpine Ridge in terms of uh, besides seeing the monsters and stuff. We haven't seen any other um, pictures outside of that until now. So there's a couple. I don't know if we're we're at with the pictures, but they're there. Um, so that should be all for that. Uh, yeah, no, it's crazy. Um, they look, it looks good. We're revert, re reverting back to Spiral 1 uh, for the time being, and it's good. So I think that they're gonna hype us up for some more 2 stuff, some more, hopefully some 3 stuff. I still think 3 might be shown off at Comic Con. We'll see, or again, maybe just right before. Um, but again, for what we're seeing in Spiral 1, all of this is Spiral 1 related, by the way, uh, for the most part, uh, it's good. So there's pictures. So we have a comparison video. It consists mostly of uh, Stonehill, do I have it here? Stonehill, Town Square, and Peacekeepers. So we get to see Peacekeepers in action for the first time, and we also get Town Square besides just that gift that we had of the Matador Nork. Um, it looks really good. In action, uh, you can tell it's the improvements were being made, like the counter spinning, and uh, not spinning, they, it goes up by ones now and stuff like that. That was stuff that we saw first in the Spyro 2 footage, Friday Springs. Here, uh, it looks in the in between of, you know, like there's some things that might still be changed with the visuals, but for the most part, what we're seeing, it looks really good. Um, the one thing though that I have to say, if I'm going to be brutally honest, and I've been already with this subject before in particular, the music still does not hit that point that I wanted to hit, uh, especially in Town Square's music. Uh, if you know Town Square, I'm going to play it right now, if you, if you hear Town Square's music, it's very catchy, it's got this rhythm to it, and um, it's upbeat and it's really like there and it booms and it's awesome. Uh, okay, now let's play the clip of the Reunited Trilogy version. It's not quite there in my opinion. It's very subdued, it's, it's very ambient. I know they said they wanted to make a couple tracks a bit more ambient, have a bit more ambient feel, but there are tracks that just were not built to be ambient, and so when you kind of give that feel to it, it kind of throws off the the vibe of what of of the vibe that it gives the level. You know, the level itself, like everything else, like I said, visually the level is awesome, and all the stuff we've seen so far from this is awesome. But the music, little bits we can hear, even in um, Peacekeepers, let's do that now. You don't even hear like the the drums or anything like that. Like it's not really there. So that leads me to believe that either these are early versions of the music, or I don't know. But uh, we've heard, and I think you can hear in the footage uh, for the comparison clip. Which, uh, by the way, that whole video has been uploaded already. Um, what you can hear in there is some of the dynamic uh, parts of the music where. Uh, it kind of takes on a Mario kind of thing where when you're underwater, it's muffled as, as if it's playing on the surface and you're hearing it underwater. 
uh, in caves and tunnels, it echoes, so you can hear a bit of that in the footage. Uh, and that's cool, that I don't mind. The dynamic part of it and changing it up to, you know, fit if you're in something or underwater, that's fine. But the way the songs sound uh, gives me that insane trilogy vibe of there's some that just don't really hit it for me, and I hope that they go back. And seeing as the guy who is doing the music for Reunited and Stuart Copeland are both going to be at uh, the Comic Con panel, I'm sure we're going to get something about the music in terms of they have to be aware of how we feel about those kinds of tracks and the overall feel like that. Um, the notes are there. It's not like they took out notes and took out weird little bits like Insane Trilogy did for some tracks and some of the games for some of the music, but. It's not, that's not the problem. The problem is just the instrumentation and what they're kind of doing. Like I said before that Artisans, the home world has that kind of ambient feel to it, which just, that wasn't what it felt like and sounded like in the original. So I'm not saying it has to be one-to-one. -one. I'm just saying that uh, there's a feel that those tracks give off and I'm not getting that feel again. Uh, I'm not gonna play it, but comparing again once more like for Insane, uh, Rocket, the jetpack levels in Crash 2, the way the remastered soundtrack sounds for that, the remastered music, it sounds just like the original, but of course there are some differences in instrumentation here and there. The feel has been kept though, for like those kinds of levels. So that's the comparison I'm trying to make. In Town Square, in Peacekeepers, in Artisans, it's not really there, so that's, that's really all to say about that. Uh, all we have left is uh, new renders. Here are some awesome PNGs. I'm going to be using these in uh, future videos. But we've got some cool ass renders. One of them is from Spyro 3, so that's awesome. We finally get a good clean look at Spyro 3. And I swear to God, Pez! Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Freaking still tease. All this stuff is all from them. I, I don't know if I already said it. I believe I did. Pez.tv. Yes, I did say that already. But. They are really teasing here because one of their little things on Twitter was, hey guys, who's ready to see Spyro 3 footage? And like, they know, they obviously know what's gonna be shown off and what's gonna be happening at Comic-Con because that's the big event. All this stuff is dropping before then. This is the week. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening even past today and tomorrow and all that. So I think they know generally what's gonna be going on at Comic-Con and that we're probably gonna get something that's gonna show off, again, maybe a trailer, maybe even just gameplay clips of stuff from two we haven't seen yet, three in general, so stuff like that. Um, but they're teasing and I think they know that something's going down with two and three, and again, mainly three, because that was what the, that was the one they called out, so there's that. Um, renders, pictures, like that's what they've been showing off so far, and this was all like last night, like late last night. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. This is awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see what else they do and show off uh, prior to and at Comic-Con. So we got word uh, due to Canadian guys saying that uh, they're probably not going to stream. Uh, Jeff Keighley said this on Twitter that they're not going to stream the the panel. So that being said, uh, whatever they show off, whatever, however it gets shown off to us online, uh, Stay tuned, I'll try to provide links. I'll also be talking about and showing off some of the stuff that they show off and just relaying info and talking about stuff uh, the day of on Thursday. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Marcelo, I'll see you guys later. Take care.